Hi, and welcome to the North Carolina Aquarium at Fort Fisher. My name is Megan, and today we are going to be weighing and measuring one of our loggerhead sea turtles. It's very important that we do that every week because our turtles are actually fed on an amount of food in relation to their weight. So as their weight changes, they get fed more. So it's very important that we keep track of their growth. Today we are going to be using three different tools. We are going to have a soft, flexible measuring tape. This crazy utensil here is called a caliper, and it's used for measuring. And we are also going to be using a scale. Today, as we're measuring and weighing, we are going to be using the metric system because that is the accepted measurement for all scientific processes. So that way we can make sure we're on the same page as anyone else who is studying sea turtles. So we are going to start by measuring our sea turtle. When we measure our sea turtles, we get a couple different measurements. The first one is called a curved length. And this is where we measure over the top of the shell to include the curve and any bumps that might be on the shell. Now this can be done two different ways, but every scientist starts from this notch right here behind the turtle's head. We start there by placing our tape and then we measure down to the bottom. Now they can measure to two different places here. There's another notch in the turtle shell, and that's notch to notch, or we can measure to the longest tip of the shell. And that's what we do here at the aquarium. Is we if we look closely, we can see the notch here on the turtle shell. We'll place the measuring tape up against the edge of that notch and run it along the back of the turtle to the other end. Here we can measure to the notch or to the longest point on the shell. We're going to measure to the longest point here, and as you see, this turtle's curved length is 34 centimeters. Now we also do a curved width, and this is the same regardless of who is doing the measurement. We measure from the widest point on the shell straight across the top of the shell. So you have to find that widest point, go over any bumps, and today his width, curved width, is 29 and a half centimeters. Some researchers don't want that curve of the shell included in their measurement. So that's when we use the calipers. These give us a straight length and a straight width. So what we do here, we start from the top, from that notch again, and we very gently pull this together till we get the length. Once the calipers touch, we can see that this turtle is 30 and a half centimeters long. And then we can do the width as well to the same points we did before. And this time we have 25 centimeters. So that's a great way to figure out our lengths and our widths. Now you might be wondering why this turtle can sit on the table for so long. Although he is a sea turtle, this animal is a reptile. And reptiles have lungs, not gills, like a fish. So they do come up to the surface to breathe air, just like we do. And so we can not have them out of the water for a short period of time, but we do take certain precautions. If he's going to be out for a long time, we have a special gel we put on their eyes to make sure they don't dry out. Next, we'll need to weigh the turtle, but it's hard to get them to sit still on our scale. So in order to make sure he stays put, we weigh him in a bin. But the weight of the turtle plus the weight of the bin is more than what we need. So we have to figure out a way to subtract the weight of the bin from the turtle. And to do that, we set the bin on the scale. And then Once we have the bin on the scale, we press the tear button to zero out the scale. Then we can put the turtle in the bin and find out how much he weighs in grams today, which appears to be about 4,000 grams. And again, we are using the metric system, so we are measuring in grams, but we can check and change modes and see how much he weighs in pounds. So today he weighs not quite nine and a half pounds. So Thank you for helping us weigh and measure our turtles, and we hope you'll come see them soon.